Today's Views and News through 12. In our last couple of minutes together, we'll interact with musician Dope St. Jude. She says, I wanted to make a statement without uh, taking myself too seriously. I find the alpha male rhetoric so absurd, ab absurd at times. <laughs> and I wanted to make my commentary without getting too worked up about it. So I made the song that calls that kind of thing out. Just remind us about this narrative that you are fighting. Uh, how, do you, how do you read that narrative? Um, so it's taken over first. Hi, everyone. I'm Dove St. Jude. And um, so when I talk about the alpha male rhetoric, it's something that's kind of taken over the Internet in a lot of ways. And it's this idea that um, often that men need to in order to claim their power often needs to be uh, need to subjugate women. Um, women must know their place in order for men to really tap into their alpha male power, you know, like an alpha male's wife is a stay-at-home wife and cooks for him and does all of those things. And I just uh, kind of just find it absurd. Like, <laughs> I don't agree with it. Um, and so I wanted to make a statement through my music. But you're not just <laughs> making that statement. You're not calling out the absurdity that it is. Yeah. You're saying the alpha male can be redefined. Yes, 100%. Um, well, the word alpha itself, not alpha male, because I think... No, the word alpha, no, absolutely. Yes, you, yes. You're actually taking gender out of it. Now, yeah. just, <laughs> just tell us what that alpha redefined means. Um, for me, okay, so I, I, I'm, I'm a queer person, and I think because I am uh, a gay person and I'm married to a woman, I have not had the pressure to uh, conform to heteronormative relationship um, standard. So there's no expectation that one of us must pay the bill or one of us must stay at home and the other one must go out and work. And so through that freedom, I've been able to be in a relationship where both my partner and I can celebrate each other's strengths and really um, see the alpha, if you will, in each other. And so that's really um, what I'm talking about is that there's room to redefine what a relationship looks like. Mm, but, yeah. it, but it can because it happens in my relationship with my wife. Yes, there uh, we go. <laughs> we just have a natural propensity to sort out what we must sort out. Yes. Uh, except she wants me to carry the 25 litre <laughs> bottle of water <laughs> and of late the 10 litre canister of oxygen. Is there that kind of roles physically defined within your relationship as well? Not really, okay. because I think this is lucky. So we I both should insist she carry that 25 litre water. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Am I pushing the envelope here? <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I think that uh, we're moving into an era where uh, we can try to redefine what relationships look like, you know? Mm. Like, we don't have to um, subscribe, like you say. You don't have to subscribe to the heteronormative standard of one person, yeah. you know? Yeah, and you don't even have to take gender out of it. Just take the roles as it has been defined yes. historically out of it. Yes. Because uh, some people, when you say take gender out of it, and they think it means a whole lot of things. Yes. Uh, and some people can't understand, and you must help us to understand there as well, because, uh, yeah, sexuality and gender is a completely different thing. Yes, yes. Sexua uh, sexual um, attraction and gender identity can be... Off, sometimes they can be intertwined and yeah. then very often it can be completely different. I think it's sometimes just ignorance that just you know stops us from make, taking that step forward, that, that right step. We all know what it is. Yes, I ignorance and also I think societal pressure. Oh. You know, I've seen that um, amongst my, my straight friends. Like, for example, when, when my wife and I got married, no one asked us, when are the babies coming? When are the babies coming? But I see that kind of pressure with my... <laughs> With my heterosexual friends, there's this pressure to uh, b build a family immediately and, you know, have the whole white picket fence. So, so there isn't a biological, a universal biological clock. Is that what you say? Um, is it one you can switch on and off? Is that is that what you say? Oh, no, 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 not not at all. I'm so just saying. So you could feel for uh, wanting a, a kid? At oh, d d definitely. But I don't have aunties coming up to me being like, oh, no, sure. <laughs> the, t the clock is ticking, you know. Yeah. And I think that like heterosexual people often have that pressure, you know. Sure. Yes. Is your music an activism? Um, In, in a way, yeah. But I think that, um, first of all, 
I think there's a very big difference between the kind of activism I do through my music and the the kind of activism that people do on the ground. Um, I think what I try to do with my music is interpret my world and then create art that reflects that. And also I try to bring um, conversations that I think are often gatekept in academic spaces, like talking about gender and sexuality. I think often when people engage in those conversations, it's very much like in an academic setting or just like very kind of uh, like high high highbrow conversations. And I try to bring that into the music so that um, it's more accessible to maybe someone who might not be in a space where um, they feel comfortable engaging in like an academic yeah. uh, approach to... I, th- I think also a very important generational perspective, don't you think? Yes, yes. Just how popular is... I mean, I'm, I'm just looking at probably... I mean, I'm Generation X, right? Um, so <laughs> I was there before TV. But uh, this... <laughs> person his name is phil i had to be a man he writes flip this is an hysterically woke conversation the things people come up with yeah so refusing to even allow nearly your generational kind of vantage point yeah i mean um i think that it can be hard when your whole life you've been um taught to fit yeah. within a box and then you see the younger generation having the freedom to kind of break out of their box yeah. i think it can there can be tension and i I'm think it comes from pain also maybe um yeah you're gonna you're gonna have to help me with this one uh, okay musician dope saint jude break out of the box i just get the sense you're creating more boxes i don't understand okay so so what do you mean when you say that we're creating more boxes well there's just more things to consider i think or more definitions for things that don't need a definition. Like what? Give me an example. Well, so can't we can... just like all be human beings and get on with our lives? I mean, I think w- we can say that. We can, in an ideal world, be human beings. But I think that if we're realistic, the world is governed by structures where our identities do matter, you mm-hmm. know? Like, for example, I'd like to say, oh, in South Africa, we can all just be the rainbow nation. But the reality is, is that because of our history, there uh, 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 your identity as black or white and colored fits into your understanding of the world. And I think it's the same when it comes to uh, gender and sexuality. In an ideal world, yes, those things don't matter, but these power structures exist and we have to find a way to navigate in those spaces. I am just so chuffed that you are out there talking this language and I think educating us uh, in, in the process Maybe we should just pick up on that on that next song because I know we we got to go to news from Joburg at the top of the mm-hmm. hour and I don't want to miss out uh, the message. Just uh, are you really busy in terms of performances all over the place? Yeah, so I've got a show coming up at the Artscape Theatre on the 9th of August for the Women's Humanity Festival at 3 p.m. on Women's Day. I'd really love for people to attend. Manila Vantes will be opening and yeah, it's going to be a great show. Is it um is it like a, a festival of performers or um yeah it's a women's humanity festival oh. so there are different um uh, different activities on the program so I know there's a walk in the morning there's a show in the afternoon um yeah there's just various things happening around Women's Day I'm just wondering since you're that <laughs> gifted creative if you can respond probably <laughs> to another generation X probably baby boomer position. I can't wait to see female plumbers, bricklayers, offshore oil riggers, shipbuilders, construction workers. That's sarcastic. Yes. No, but I agree. I also can't wait to see that. You know, like, like, why, like, why not? In fact, that's the name <laughs> of my next track. It's called "Why Not." Isn't that I, a perfect? Response? I would, I would love that. I mean, like, w- why not have women as plumbers or bricklayers? Like, I mean, honestly. If they can do it, then why not? <laughs> Listen, there's a role for you in politics as well. You turn that one on its head. Well done. <laughs>